Hello, and welcome to my QTP video tutorial, where I will be showing you some of the most commonly used ways to open the object repository. In this video, we'll be covering the following topic. What are some of the most common ways to open the object repository? As a reminder, to stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button. This moves us to the topic which asks the question, what are some of the most common ways to open the object repository? There are several ways to open the object repository. I will show you five of the most common ways. The first way I'll show you is by using the menu bar. The second way I'll show you is by using the button bar. The third way I'll show you is by right clicking on an object reference in a script. The fourth way I'll show you is by using the solution explorer view. And the fifth way I'll show you is by using the toolbox view. So I'll now flip over to QTP so I can show you examples of each of these. As you can see, there is already a basic script loaded in the window. Now what this script does is it launches the Windows sample flight application that comes with QTP. It sets a username value into the agent name input. It then enters a password into the password input. It clicks OK to submit the login credentials, and then once the Windows Sample Flight application opens, it clicks to close. I'll now show you the first example on how to open the object repository, and in this way we'll be using the menu bar from within the main QTP window. So look up near the top of the window and locate the button that says Resources. Once you find it, click it. Then look for the button that reads as Object Repository. Once you find it, click it. You'll notice that once I click the button, we're now presented with the Object Repository window. And you'll see that title in the top left corner of the window. I'll now click to close this. I'll now show you the second example on how to open the Object Repository. And in this way, I'll be showing you how to use the button bar. So again, look up near the top part of the window and look to the button bar. Now on my button bar, this is near the far right side of the buttons that are showing. And my object repository button looks like a brown box with a red house laid over top of it. So once you find it, click it. You can see that once I click that button, I now see the object repository window. I can now click to close this window. I'll now show you a third example on how you can open the object repository window. And in this example, I'll be showing you how you can interact directly with a specific object reference that's being made within your script. For this, I'll be looking to line 5 in my script. In line 5, there's two different objects that are being referenced. The first object is a dialog window. And the second object is a when edit. Now, as you can see, after the word when edit, there's parentheses, and then quotes, and then the words agent name. So, the specific when edit that is being referenced here is the agent name object. So, if I wanted information specifically about the agent name object, what you can do is position your mouse in between the quotes for the specific object. So in this example, I could place the mouse cursor anywhere over the phrase agent name. So once you've done that, right click. Then in the pop-up menu that will appear, locate the object properties button. Once you find it, click it. You'll then be presented with an object properties window. Now this will give the property values specifically for this one input. So as you can see, there's a native class property and an attached text property. Now this gives information on this one specific object. However, if I wanted to see this object in the full object repository window, you can locate the view and repository button, which is located in the bottom left corner of the window. You could then click it. It will now open up the full object repository window, and it will show all of the objects that is in the object repository. 
and it will come defaulted by highlighting the object that you had just been looking at. So as you can see, I still have the agent name object highlighted, and here's its property information. I'll now click to close this window. I'll now show you a fourth example of how you can open the object repository window. And in this way, I'll be showing you how you can use the Solution Explorer view. If you do not already have the Solution Explorer view open and visible in your window, look to find the menu bar near the top of the window. Then on that, locate the View button. Once you find it, click it. Then in the drop-down menu that appears, locate the Solution Explorer button. Once you find it, click it. You'll notice that once I click the Solution Explorer button, I'm now, be, I'm now seeing the Solution Explorer view along the left side of my window. As you can see, there's a hierarchical tree being presented with plus signs and minus signs. You can click a plus sign to show the contents of a folder, or you can click the minus sign to hide the contents of a folder. What we're going to do is click the plus sign to the left of GUI Test 3, which is the name of my test. Once I did that, I'll then be presented with a list of the actions in the test. As you can see, I only have one action, and it's called Action 1. So I'll now click the plus sign to the left of Action 1 to show its contents. I now need to find the object repository, and you can find the object repository by looking for the icon that'll look like a brown box with a red house on top of it. Once you find that, right-click that button, then in the pop-up menu that appears, locate the Open Repository button. Once you find it, click it. You'll then be presented with the Object Repository window. I'll now click to close the window. And also, I'll also click to close the Solution Explorer view. I'll now show you a fifth example of how you can open the Object Repository window. And in this example, we'll be using the Toolbox view. If you do not already have the Toolbox view open and visible in your window, look to find the menu bar near the top of your window. Then locate the View button on the menu bar. Once you find it, then click it. In the menu that appears, locate the Toolbox button. Once you find it, click it. As you can see, once I click the Toolbox button, the Toolbox view is now appearing along the left side of my screen. There are a few different sections in the Toolbox view, but the section where we need to look is the Test Objects section. Now for this example, I would like to look to pull up the object property values for the agent name input. So for this, I need to locate the login entry I'll then see a right pointing arrow off to the left of this entry. I'll click that right pointing arrow to expand its contents. I'll then look to find the agent name entry. Once I find it, I can right click on that agent name entry. Then in the pop-up menu that will appear, I can locate the open resource button. Once I find it, I can click it. It will then open up the object repository window with the specific object highlighted and its respective property values here on the right side of the window. So I can now click to close the object repository window. This now concludes our video where I've answered the following question. What are some of the most common ways to open the object repository? As a reminder, to stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button. Thank you, and I hope that you have a great day.